Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for TTN HD, Production Live Online. Here I am with the director of Black Eve. Can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your film? I'm Ryan Andrews. I'm writer, director, and uh, one of the producers of this film. Um, this is kind of a slasher film meets psychological horror. Um, growing up in the uh, in the 80s, I was watching all the classic horror films. I'm not talking about Freddy and Jason, but I mean like the down and dirty, you know, uh, Return to Horror High and uh, Terror Train and The Brain and the just the ones that, you know, you know just are only available on VHS nowadays, and I loved the uh, the body count style of that. And at the same time, I appreciate the value of good art, and so I wanted to mix that with more of a psychological story. And so Black Eve just kind of evolved from mixing those two together, where we have this woman who wakes up and with psychic abilities, she uh, retraces the steps of all the people who died. So you always see the dead body before you find out what happened to them. So it's kind of, uh, it's, it's just a different take on, you know, how to kill a bunch of people in an hour and a half. Okay. How long have you been working on this film? When did it start? <clears throat> um, well, technically, I guess maybe 20 years ago, I always had an idea of doing something like this. Um, I actually wrote a script five years ago that, that this came from. Um, uh, Neil and Rob from Fusion Films, uh, we've worked together a few times, and when they approached me about this location and doing a project, <clears throat> uh, we tossed around a bunch of different ideas about what, you know, what could work, and I just brought up the fact that I had this script, and they loved it, mm -hmm. and so uh, Neil and I kind of did a little retooling with it to kind of fit this location, and yeah, it's just this project has been a passion for all of us now because mm -hmm. it's just something that we're all like really into. It's not like you know, you make some films and halfway through you're kind of not sure. It's like every day I know this is the right choice, this is the right film, yeah. this is just, it's a fun film. Okay, is this your first feature film? Uh, no, this would be my third feature. Okay. Uh, over the past 10 years since film school, I've done a bunch of different projects. Um, my first feature uh, called The Art of Infamy uh, never really got anywhere in Canada. Um, I think any Canadian artist can agree with that. But, uh, <laughs> When I sent it down to the U.S., a company called Fangoria, which is one of the most major names in the horror industry, and they have been for like 30 plus years, uh, Fangoria loved it and actually screened it on Fangoria TV. Oh, so wow. that kind of, you know, I wouldn't say it boosted my ego, but it just kind of reminded me that, no, you know, even though, you know, not everybody has to like it, mm -hmm. you know, there is still an audience out there. And so it just kind of reconfirmed that, yes, what I'm doing here with horror matters, what I'm doing here with horror is on par so I've kind of uh, I made another feature after that which was more of like a David Lynch style mm -hmm. and I just decided no I want to go back to this down and dirty uh, this just gross bizarre off the wall like fun horror film stuff and so this is this is where I want to stay okay so you'll be making some more horror flips oh, yeah. in the future yeah we've got a uh, I've got a countless amount of scripts at home uh, but I know with Rob and Neil, we're working on a project called The Woodsman right now. Okay. And I also have another script called Growing Paranoia, um, which actually I met Veronica on set of this film. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's perfect in this film. And she's just an amazingly talented actor. And I, like, I showed her the script for this one because I'd love to have her involved with it because, like, her acting is over the top. I think her acting is sometimes shadowed by the fact that, you know, she's this hot girl, right? I mm -hmm. mean... You know, everybody always looks at that, but it's like, you know, there's, there are a dime a dozen, and there's a hundred of them in Hollywood. Well, there's more than a hundred, but, <laughs> you know, there's, there are a dime yeah. a dozen, and, but Veronica actually has the talent to back it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, same with all the cast, like Eva, our lead, she's like, we worked with her on a short, and just right then we knew, we've got to use her, we've got to use her, we've got to use her big time, because she is, she is unbelievable. The whole cast is great. Okay, great. Well, good luck with it, and Thank we look you. forward to hearing more in the future. I'm Katie Yellman reporting for TTN HD.